Hey, g'day Paul, this is Brayden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Hey, thanks so much here in Quarry on our uh, 2019 Holden Colorado, the Z71 sitting here in front of me. Absolute glamour of a car, can't wait to take you through it. Uh, like I said, a bit of an idea who we are, obviously Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. So mate, we're lucky enough to have two massive big pre-owned yards up here. I'm currently at 235 Mulgrave Road. Uh, you can see we are absolutely jam-packed at the moment. Uh, we've also got another used car yard up at 77 Mulgrave Road there as well. So we have about probably a bit over 200 cars and uh, pump through just as many every month as well. So you can even see our uh, Toyota. See, everyone thinks it's a nice car. Uh, Toyota, new car showroom, service up the back there, the whole works. So, mate, she's a big um, big dealership, but it means we get some glamour cars just like this one here. So like I said, real good chance for me to take you through the whole thing. Um, just be as sort of picky as I can. Any little marks I can show you, I'll um, show you those as well. Looks like a single owner from um, down near Towns Away as well. So you obviously can see the fleck through the uh, the black paint there as well. So it's got that beautiful fleck in the sun there uh, with the genuine Colorado uh, stone chips with the bonnet protector there as well. So very clean up across the uh, the bonnet itself. Just a tiny little little sort of scratch just there about the hairline size. And just a couple of tiny little ones just there. But other than that, very clean. We've also got these Z71 sticker work across the bonnet there too. So a little bit of dust just because she's right up the front row here pretty clean across the front tiny little that's just coming off with my finger that's even better pretty clean across the front you've also got your uh, front parking sensors on the bull bar here too the um, toe points everything underneath there as well right through the wishbones and the suspension a little bit of dust through there but pretty clean otherwise full drop with this gear amount of gear though you'd be very surprised if it didn't have any dirt under there otherwise all through the bash plates and whatnot very clean. Winch compatible in here as well, so you can see the mount just in there too. Super clean underneath. Heaps of tread on all these tyres, of course. So pretty clean. A couple little tiny stone chips on the actual bull bar itself, but not so, nothing too bad. As we come around, uh, very clean. Obviously got the aftermarket. The Z71s come with pretty um, awesome wheels anyway, but they've gone and changed them for these aftermarket ones which looks absolutely unreal. Again, heaps of tread left on there. Very clean through the actual guard itself. As we come down, passenger side here. Again, just a little bit of a hairline mark there. And there. Not too bad though. And same, just a little one just above the actual driver's uh, passenger side handle. door cart itself is so very clean just a little tiny little bit of wear there from people's um, hands things like that potentially watches and just a little mark up there but other than that very clean through the inside you obviously got your building compliance place just there for you too uh, being a Z71 we got all the leather seats as well throughout the whole car full leather um, you got height adjustments on this side so the manual adjustment on the passenger side so we can raise that up and down We've got the genuine uh, holding floor mats in here too so you can see under there as well, all that sort of stuff we just leave in the car for you. So no holes or anything like that across the dash, very clean through there. Uh, all your service history, manuals, books, everything's all inside here as well. So like I said, was a private owner. I'll just show you that service history. So New Pioneers Motors have done pretty much all the servicing. So 2019 at 1,800 kilometres. Uh, next one at 2020, 13,000 kilometres, same place. 20, uh, 2020, 23,000 kilometres. 2020, 35,000 kilometres. 2021, 48,000. 21,000, 60,000. 2022, 74. And 2020, Coral Motors. So literally full Holden service history, it's whole life. Coral Motors, that's our workshop. So it's literally just had a service done, so not due again until about 96,000. So awesome service history there. It's exactly the sort of stuff that we uh, we do look for with our cars. We won't really take anything anything less. You can see yourself even through the roof lining. It's been very well looked after on the inside here. And even for a black car, like it's it's very minimal as far as uh, marks and things like that. Just a tiny. No, that's just come off of my hand as well. So obviously got the uh, genuine uh, weather protectors there too. So we've got the uh, light bar at the top there on the roof. Curves. So that's all wired through your high beam there too. 
Uh, fuel is on this side too, I'll show you where the, no, that's, I'll show you where the release is for that, it'll be inside the car. So very clean through the back one, it's got the child locks just on the back of these doors too. Electric windows the whole way around. So again, floor mats on both the rear sides as well. Full leather interior. You got a little strap just up here, so if we pull that, that'll actually come down and be flat. And you got one, two, three child anchor points down the back here too. Otherwise they just click back into place. You got your little uh, kids argument separator in the middle here. But super well maintained through the inside here. You got a little accessory plug down the bottom there too. Um, you got adjustable seat belts on um, both the front door, uh, both, foot, yeah, both, foot, both front seats, drop down handles on all the doors except the drivers, but you still get the uh, the solid handle up the two front ones as well. So real nice and easy jumping in and out, things like that. With the Z71, we get this beautiful plastic work across the back. Got a tiny little bit of a scratch there and there. Not too bad otherwise. And we've got this aftermarket rack on the back as well, so really good for tents, things like that, especially if you're doing a bit of camping and traveling. A little bit of a scuff on the rear bar here. Obviously got your rear sensors across the back there too. Not too bad through the rest of it. Okay, we've got these alloys the whole way around. You can see the uh, spare tire in the back there as well. Stacks of tread left on that. And even through the, uh, the, uh, the wheel arches and that as well. Very tidy. The tailgate itself. So we'll open this one up for you, show you inside. So we've got the proper Colorado mats in there as well. Looks like it's been rhino lined, so the spray on stuff as well, which is even better. So very tidy through there. Got tie down points all through the back. This will obviously lift up as well. Now, the beautiful thing about the Z71, you've got this little feature as well with the tailgate. So if we drop that, it's just that anti slam as well. It doesn't damage the hinges or anything like that. A little reverse camera tucked up there. Tiny little mark, I just noticed. Just here, a little bit of an S one, but nothing too bad. I've uh, got the tow wall down the bottom here as well. Try and get you under there with the camera so you can see. Should be a little flat seven pin plug in there. Apparently all looked after. Not too bad on this side. A little tiny scuff there as well. Again, really nothing too bad, hey. I'm trying to be as picky as I possibly can with this paint. It's just a bit of dust as well. So down the uh, driver's side here now, just a little hairline one there and there. And a little bit there. Looks like maybe a bush or something might have just brushed up against it. Uh, if you can't see them, let me know. It's the same thing, just on this little bit of plastic there. Again, just that final wheel. That's just a bit of dust. Like I said, we just got the highway right here, so we do get a little bit of dust when they're sitting up on the front row. Stacks of tread left on all these guys, of course. It's the roadworthies. You can definitely tell this was their pride and glory. It's, um, it's always good to see when people actually look after their cars. I'm sure you guys can appreciate. So again, you got another little strap just under here. So this little strap, Pulls the seats up. Got your jack and your tools just underneath. And just on the driver's side, so a little hairline one. Actually, no, it's just come off. But there is a little hairline one just there. And a little rib stone chip just there. Same with the mirrors. But other than that, this thing is pretty damn tidy, that's for sure. So no chips or anything across the windscreen there too. Uh, now you do have, just while I'm here, you do have two genuine keys with this one. So a nifty little trick with these guys, but you've got your central locking on there. So, so we know that's locked. So now, if you push that lock button twice and hold that little half circle button. So you've got a remote start with these guys as well. So it locks the car, so it ensures that, because the distance on that's pretty unreal. But it locks the car and so it ensures that um, nobody can jump in it while, while you're not there. But it starts the aircon, gets the aircon going in the car, so both your keys will have that as well. It just gets the aircon, everything going in the car, warms up the engine. So 
that just gives a chance for the car to be great for the engine but it keeps it locked so that nobody can actually steal it or anything like that so you simply unlock it jump inside let's quickly show you through the driver's bit a little bit of scuffing on the driver's side it's obviously the highest sort of traffic area of the car now uh, you do the electric adjustment for the driver's seat here too so you get the height adjustment backrest everything's all electric on this one z71 stitching on the uh, headrest through the front here too so you'll notice when we jump in all the screens everything's soft so steering's still locked until we put the keys in and everything unlocks for us so awesome little feature like i said it's a beautiful little treat because it gets the aircon going so places like cairns it's a great little feature um, and you can turn it on and off from those keys as well, so you can kill the motor with the same uh, same with that same button. Uh, as you can see, obviously 84,585 kilometres as it sits right now. So no engine lights, no dash lights, nothing like that. Just the seatbelt lining because I'm not wearing my seatbelt. Uh, up on the steering wheel, so pretty sim simple controls. You got all your volume controls, your radios. You can operate everything from here. Phone calls, um, hanging them up, answering the phone calls, all that kind of thing. You're, you're holding my speak as well. Uh, forward collision mitigation is just here, so it's basically a safety alert, so if someone in front of you slings on the brakes, the car's actually going to brake for you if you don't react in time, otherwise your cruise control, everything's all here as well. Uh, headlights uh, over on the right hand side, so currently I've got them set to automatic, but you've got your parkers, headlights, high beam and blinkers all from here as well, so nice and easy, but you leave that on automatic, they're just going to turn on and off as they need to. Uh, so daytime, nighttime, you know, rain, showers, all that sort of stuff. Window controls are all here for you. Sorry, mirror controls are all here for you. Central locking, all your window controls and your window locks. Uh, as we come around, you've got that little display in the middle. So you've got a menu button up on the right-hand side here. So we can flick between those three options. And then on each of those, you've got that little tab. So you can flick between all your different fuel economies, settings, uh, average fuels, speed warnings, all that sort of stuff. All your little settings through this one here as well. Uh, massive big touchscreen here. Like I said, you do have that reverse camera in the back, so as soon as we chuck in reverse, you can see that there. You can physically see the tow ball, which makes it really easy for backing up to trailers. And of course, you do have that predictive line too. So as we turn the steering wheel, it's going to turn with us, show you the exact direction and path that you're going to be taking as well. Chuck that back into park. Uh, you've got projection here, so uh, sat nav for, your, um, for navigation, obviously, everything like that as well. Uh, I'll have to double check, but I do believe that will be Apple CarPlay, depending on this, this year model and uh, the, uh, the setup they had in these guys, but I'm pretty sure that will be Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. So you'll need a USB to connect those if it is. Um, phone calls, obviously, all your music, everything's on here. Massive big uh, buttons for the display, so real nice and easy to operate while you're driving. Uh, that home button's going to bring you back to that little display every time. Aircon controls are all down here, so temperature on the right, fan speed on the left, where you want it coming out of in there. Uh, lane departure here, so you can turn that on and off. So if you start to uh, drift out of the lanes, the car will actually react and ring you back if you're not paying attention. Traction control, hazard lights, downhill descent. Those little sensors on the front and back of the car, if they annoy you, you can turn them on and off with that one. Heaps of accessory plugs. Heated seats for the front uh, two rows. Uh, sorry, for the front seats. So we've got a low setting and a high setting for that. And of course, that's that little light bar for the, the one on the roof. So that is run through your high beam. Won't operate without it. Uh, Four drive controls are down here for you too. So you've got the two high, obviously being a rear wheel drive. We can flick that into four high. Um, always best to do it in neutral. Uh, they reckon you can do that while you're moving, but I don't like to. They reckon it's bad for the um, bad for the car. But you can flick that over four high. It's going to flash a few times. You can see a little notification up there saying shift in progress. And then that now is indicating that you're in four wheel drive. You got a little orange indicator just there telling you. And of course that now says you're in four high as well. So that's for the 80k an hour, 100k an hour doing normal gearing but for beach runs, things like that as well. And then of course we can go to four low. So again, it's gonna flash a few times, four drive shift in progress. It's gonna turn all your traction control, all the safety stuff off. And you now got four drive low in uh, engaged that you can see down there. So all electronic, you don't have to go locking in hubs or anything like that. Uh, to go back through them again, you just be patient with the car. You just let one engage, shift in progress, let it go back to two wheel drive. And that's now engaged. So all that works perfectly for you. Handbrakes there, cup holders there. USB A to X in there, I'm not sure if you can see, there you go. And incredibly tidy through this car, cannot rate this thing enough guys. I think it's an absolute gem for you guys, especially with what you'd be towing. Uh, I'm going to put that back in park. I just want to show you real quick under the bonnet before we finish up. Because it's just about everything on the inside that I can show you. Fuel release is just there for you. Bonnet release is just there on the left next to it. Oh, time of day here in Cairns. Just a little bit warm. So obviously your 2.8 turbo diesel 
incredibly clean through there. Full holding service history and of course one by us as well. But very, very well looked after guys. And like I said, currently on sale for only $53,990 on a $2,000 discount. So don't miss out and uh, let us know your thoughts as soon as you can.